right, I've got my store and where are the customers? What's up guys, Jason here, Aspiring Entrepreneur, and in this quick video tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through the Audience Insights tool so you can discover exactly how to find targeted buyers on Facebook. So chances are you're done setting up your Shopify store or you know your WooCommerce site and you're ready to get some traffic. And Facebook is a great place to find e-commerce customers. However, it's important that you start with the foundational basics that we're gonna go over in this video so that your Facebook campaigns don't fall flat on their face and that all starts with your audience targeting. So let's go ahead and dive into my screen and I'll walk you through the audience insights tool and how to find targeted buyers on Facebook. Okay, so not to bore you, we're gonna go this through this process very, very quickly because this is gonna take a few hours. So I'm condensing a few hour process down, you know, into less than a 10 minute video here. So I've preloaded, you can see I've preloaded all of the um, things that we're gonna need. So first off, you're gonna want to navigate to audience insights. You do this when you go to Facebook and you go to your ads manager, you'll come up here, all tools and audience insights. And of course we'll click on that and we'll choose all of Facebook and that's how we get here. So hopefully when you set up your, you know, your Shopify store, your e-commerce site, you did some market research and found a list of similar, similar sites or competitors. And then eventually we're also going to talk about why you should look at a list of products and services that are similar, but not exactly the same. So in this particular instance, a buddy of mine is setting up a bracelet eShopify site. So we're gonna be doing bracelets. And I think this is actually a really, gonna be a really, really good example of how this can get really complicated and just go wrong on you. So I'm glad I did this off screen right before I started recording. So the first thing you're gonna to want to do is if you don't have a list of people already, then what I would recommend doing is coming over to, oh, let's make sure I click on the right thing, right? Uh, now I have all these up. Search, 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 search. Where'd search go? Uh, here we go. So one of the first things you can do if you don't already have a list is simply search what you're looking for. So for like, let's say I'm looking for watches and I'm on, you know, pages. And so what this will do is it will pull up a bunch of pages and companies that essentially sell watches. Um, in this particular instance, I'd search bracelets, right? And so then you'd want, what you'd want to do is click through all these different pages to see if they're similar to or identical to the types of products that you're selling. So this is how you get a list of companies like this if you haven't already done your research, okay? So that's step one, get a list of companies. So step two is if you did the method I just said, you'll already know they have a Facebook page. If you've done prior research, you'll want to go through that the same process. If I click on the right thing again, oh gosh. You'll go, want to go through the same process. And essentially what all I did was I went through my list and I searched, I said, okay, do they have a Facebook page? So you want a list of similar companies or companies who are in industries that are right next to you. So that's why I'm gonna be doing watches and bracelets in this. So bracelets is the core and then kind of watches is, is, the, is something that's very similar to bracelets, right? And so you'll go through your list, like this is my list. So I went through that list and I essentially looked for all the different companies that were on my list and looked up their Facebook pages. And so I looked up their Facebook pages, I made sure they had Facebook pages, and then I added them to my little Google Doc here, making note of which ones had Facebook pages and which ones didn't. And then once you've done that, you have a list of at least 10 to, 10 to 15, this is a shorter list, you'll go to Audience Insights, and this is where you get to start playing with the Audience Insights tool. The Audience Insights tool is really gonna be valuable when you already have something to play with. For example, if I just came in here cold, this is what some other you know marketers try and do, come in here cold and I just type in bracelets and search, and I'm targeting men in this particular instance, and then go to page likes. See, this is how you're gonna get a one leg up on your competition, right? page likes, then they start looking, most people start their search here, right? This is how they start their search. And they're looking at all these different things that really don't have much to do with bracelets at all. And you're kind of stuck, stuck with shopping and retail. You see how it only gave you, you know, one particular suggestion. So, oh, this said Pura Vita bracelets, of course. 
Okay, there we go. That's better. Now we're doing bracelet. So you can see here what a lot of other, you know, Shopify owners, e-commerce owners are doing is they're just typing in whatever their product is, and then they're trying to figure out what to target based on this. But you're savvy because you're watching this video now, so you know to not start here. This is step number two. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to type in the name of one of the bracelet companies that I found, and it's this guy. So bam. All right. And what you'll find is most of, so this is, so this is the page that I found is actually in audience insights. Uh, the other, all of these other ones, let's put that right there. So I know it's search. All of these other ones did not show up in audience insights when I typed them in. So it's very plausible to have a lot of Facebook pages and then go to audience insights and none of them actually work. And so that's why I did that off screen because it took a really long time. So you can see here what I do it did is I have a column for target. And this means can I target them in audience insights? If they show up in audience insights, you can target them in your Facebook ad campaigns, which is really important. You want to be able to target them in your Facebook ad campaigns. It's not good enough to just know that they have a Facebook page. And so we have target. Yes. All right. So sadly, that entire out of all this list, only this one company was targetable. So what I had to do is I came over here to page likes. Now it gives you demographics, location, activity, household, blah, blah, blah. Really, when you're just getting started, you can ignore all of that. Like we're just gonna 80, 20 this like no other. So we're just gonna focus on jewelry and watches because that's what we're looking at. And then I'm gonna start looking at these three because these three were not on my list. So the first thing you can do is you can click through to, if you click, you can click through to the Facebook page and see, okay, is this kind of what, uh, is this the same type of stuff that I'm selling on my e-commerce site? And the answer is yes, okay, we'll move on to this one. The answer is okay, kind of, it's watches, but as you'll see in a second, I'm gonna be stuck with focusing on watches because when I come over here and I start looking for people, you'll see that I'll do, uh, I'll start with this, the brothers here, uh, um, and nope, no good. The Z one I already tried, so let's try right here. Ooh, if I spell it right, and oh, look at that, it pops up. So now I'm gonna add this one to my list and I'm gonna hit enter and see if it gives me any others. And you'll see now it's popped up with tracks, which I think I showed you earlier, and then this guy, So, which also seen earlier. So now I've hit a dead end. And this is, this is gonna happen to you guys if you have a really niche e-commerce website. You'll scroll down here and you'll realize most of these other things really aren't gonna be helpful in terms of targeting. They can be helpful in terms, well, Rolex, there's, a, there's an exception, right? There's always an exception. They can be helpful in figuring out how to create your ad creative. So for example, UFC, NFL, it might be good to have an ad that features a bracelet that has to do with football or UFC or you know, eating a, a Jimmy John sandwich or something like that because people who are interested, the demographic of men who are interested in bracelets tend to be interested in this stuff, but this is just helpful for light creative, not necessarily targeting, which is what we're really focused on here is finding buyers for your site. And so when you get to this point, if you, so let's say for instance, you know, I've gone through, I've gone exhausted the entire list that I have on my Google Doc. I've typed in everyone I could, which sadly was just two. And that's why I love this example because it's not working out very well. Most of you won't have this problem. You'll have, you know, you'll just spend an hour or two going through all of these different uh, other pages that you could target and then you'll be good to go. In this particular instance, what I had to do was I had to go and start looking at watches because I ran out of bracelets. So this is something that you can do if you are in, you get stuck in the same situation I am where, wow, I only found two bracelet pages to target and you know, 800 K that's pretty good. Like 800 to 900 K this is good enough to actually run some traffic to. However, I would like to have at least 10 to 15 interests to target. So I begin, so I can begin to split test when I go into the actual, you know, driving of traffic with the Facebook ads. So in this particular instance, yes, you could stop here if you wanted to be lazy and say, oh, okay, I'm done. But hey, you know what? You're spending your hard-earned hard -earned cash. So let's not be lazy and let's actually dive a little deeper and find some more interest to target so that your ad split testing is more effective. So I won't waste your time with it. I went through and I found some other, you know, watch brands, some watch brands to target like MVMT. I'll show you how this works. So I just go through the same process 
type them in, watches, and then I'm actually gonna delete once it loads, I'll see if it gives me something else. You'll notice this didn't change, right? That means I'm, I'm pretty dialed in on my audience. So I'm gonna back out by removing the bracelet brands. And then I'm gonna see what it gives me up here, jewelry and watches, comedian app. Okay, that was a really terrible example because it's, it's not giving me more, that's not cool. So let's try a larger, a larger watch brand, right? Let's see if we add a larger watch brand, what happens? And so we'll load. And now you'll see watches and jewelry. Now I have a list. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna click on each one of these. I'm gonna see how close they are to the targeting the same type of male who would be buying my bracelet, the bracelets for the site. And I, site. Now, obviously watches and bracelets, they are separate things. However, it's in the same category and it's close enough where you can set up another audience. You can set up another campaign that sells the bracelets to men who are purchasing watches. And that's just because we only had two bracelet brands. So you'd follow the exact same process I did here. I'd click on each one of these. I'd go through each page. If I think it's a good fit, I'm going to type it into here. I'm going to see if it's targetable. If it is, I'm going to, you know, add it to my growing list here. Say the company name, the, where's the Facebook page? Is it targetable? Yes. And and then once I have 10 to 15 of those total, then I am ready to start creating my Facebook ads. Of course, that will be a, another video. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button because this is just the first in a series on how to drive targeted buyers to your Shopify or e-commerce store. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video informative and actionable. If you got some value out of it, go ahead and hit that like button and then subscribe and check out the link in the description because over on my channel, I'm documenting the entire process of what it takes to set up and effectively run and optimize a Facebook advertising campaign for your e-commerce site. So this is just the first video in a long series of what it takes and what it looks like to get up and running with Facebook advertising and begin to pull targeted buyers to your Shopify or WooCommerce or you know e-commerce and Etsy store. So until the next video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, comment below if you have any questions about getting buyers from Facebook to your e-commerce site. And of course, keep building the business you love. Take care.